Hi everyone, this is Shishi coming on to share with you an AliExpress haul from Andy's store. It's a store on AliExpress. So I have this pretty card that I made. It's so gorgeous. I really love how it turned out. So I'll show you the products that I used to make it. Uh, this card is a 5x6 card. Okay. I know a lot of people ask what are the sizes. So this is the size of my card. Um, for this uh, frame, there is a nesting set that looks like this. So these are really good to have uh, if you want to put a sentiment on your card or make shakers or frames or whatever you want to do. Um, the borders are six inches long. So they coordinate. There's this piece. And then there's this piece, so I used it in my background. So I did the like two on the top, and then this one in the middle. Okay. Uh, there is also uh, flowers in the shop that you see on the card. It comes in a four piece. I believe these are designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube. So they're really pretty. I love the way they look. Um, the leaves are from my stash, so it doesn't come with the leaf. Okay, so I hope you like that card. I'm going to set that to the side. All right. So uh, next I have this pretty card right here. Um, it has this background. It's an A2 size card, which means it's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So I use this uh, background hearts. So that's how it turned out. Now this in the middle was that uh, die that I just shared. It's a border. So that's how that looks. So I really love how this turned out. So there's that one. Okay, next are some unicorn dies that I'm going to share. The first card looks like this, and I use this little uh, rectangle. It's like a scallop with stitches. So it comes in a set of four scallops, and then Amazing Friend is the sentiment. And uh, there is one in the set for an A2 size card. Here is the unicorn that I used. Okay. If you need to know the measurement of the largest um, die, let me get that out because this is the set. Okay, the largest one is six inches by almost four and a half inches wide. Okay, so that's the largest one. All right, okay, I'm going to move on to my next card. It is also a unicorn that goes this way and this is how my unicorn card turned out. I used that rectangle scallop again and then the unicorn. Okay, and then some sequins from my stash. Alright. Okay, next I have this I guess it's an ugly sweater pattern. This one is six and a half inches tall by five inches wide. So it's a really big die. I guess uh, these are great for your scrapbook albums. It's just huge. So I was not going to make a card that large, but I did make an A2 size card and I used it in the background of that frame that I shared earlier of all the nesting dies. And then I just put my little ugly sweater in the center and then stamp sweater weather. Okay. So that's, uh, I guess, designed for a more masculine theme. I guess if you have like a Christmas party and you have an ugly sweater party or something, that would be a great um, way to decorate your um, scrapbook with that background die. Okay. Next is this 
milk carton die. I have the small and the large now. I did not make the small because I had already had the large one pretty much made. So it looks like this. It comes with Uh, a top part on here like to decorate it in another color and then I use that frame um, that nesting set again for the label uh, that's the same flower that I showed earlier and then this border is what I use to decorate the top with all the little flat back pearls going around okay so that's how it looks and this one is, let me get the measurement, if you need that. It is five and three fourths of an inch long. Okay, so you have the option to get the small one too. I don't know um, what size it is, but if you need the size of the box once it's assembled, um, the size of it is five and a half inches tall and the width is two and a half inches wide. So again, that's how it turned out. Really love that one. Okay. All right, the last example I want to share is this little box right here. And I did use another border that I showed er earlier. Um, to decorate it all the way around. It comes with this um, bow. So it does come with the bow. And then you have some layering pieces to decorate your box. Okay. And you would just cut it out two times and put it together like this. And then to open it, it just opens uh, over like you keep these flaps. I hope I didn't glue this shut. I know I didn't. Oh, it's, it's hooked on here. Okay. See, there's a little hook right there so that it'll stay closed. But anyway, you would um, open it up like this. And then that's what's on the inside. And then when you want to close it back, you just fold these little flaps over like so. And it locks in place. So that's like some kind of locking mechanism to keep it closed. And this is how it looks from the top. And then this is how I decorated it. Okay, so those are all the examples I have in this video. Um, there is another item that I was sent that uh, unfortunately I don't know how to put it together. I'm sorry, I, I don't even know exactly what it is. I think it's a frame and it's going to take some time for me to figure out how to put this together. But I will link it if you want to see a picture of it. And someone uh, from the design team should be doing a tutorial on how to put it together. So I'll have to watch that so I understand uh, what to do because... I don't know exactly how this should look. Okay, but I will be back with a project share to show it once I figure out how to put it together. Okay, so I hope you're not disappointed that I don't know how to put that together. Um, I don't always get tutorials before I make my craft, so uh, we have to just, you know, communicate and I'll find out and then, you know, play around with it. So I appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll subscribe and you like the video, uh, even though I didn't have that last one done. But I do appreciate you joining me. Take care. Have a fabulous day.